In this video, we'll walk through setting up a basic backup job to a Backup Plus drive using Toolkit. After connecting the drive, open Toolkit by clicking its icon in the taskbar. If Toolkit isn't running at the moment, search for it in the Start menu and click it to start it up. Verify you're in Toolkit's main menu by checking if there's a left-facing arrow in the top left corner. If there is an arrow there, click it. Here you can see which compatible drives are currently connected. Click the Backup button under Activities to get started setting up a new backup. Click the Backup Now button to use Toolkit's default backup job settings. Choosing Backup Now will always use the drive with the most available space as the destination, if multiple drives are connected. The backup job begins immediately and can be monitored under Activities. Let's pause the job for now so we can take a look at its configuration. Click on the backup job, then click its pause button. Now that it's paused, the edit button is available. Click on it. Here we can see which files are getting backed up. Click next to see which drive is being used as the backup destination. Here we can also see the estimated amount of free space after the backup is complete. Click next again to see how often the backup will run. By default, Backup Now uses continuously, which means Toolkit will monitor any changes and backup the data on a constant basis when needed. Click Start Backup to exit this window and let Toolkit continue the job. If you'd like to delete the job, click on the backup job, click the three dot button, and then click Delete. The Restore button is grayed out until after the first backup has completed. A prompt pops up with an option to delete all the backed up data as well. This does not delete the data from the source. If not selected, only the job is deleted. Click Delete one more time to confirm the action. Check out our other videos for more information on how to use Toolkit on Windows. The description below also has some handy links that might be useful to you. Thank you for your time and for being a Seagate customer.